an activist since I was a young kid, so I've known all my life that everyone has the power to precipitate change. As a lawyer, when I, be, when I went in house, I realized that I have the power and the ability to help bring about change in an industry that badly needs it. Um, as everyone knows, there is an issue in the field of law uh, with the, what we call the conversion rate. There's a lot of associates of color and very few in comparison um, a partners of color. That is something that in-house lawyers can help fix. And you do that by being fully committed to diversity and inclusion. In the past year since becoming GC, I've hired nine new law firms. Each and every single one was through a diverse partner. I publicly and privately encourage other in-house lawyers to do the same. And if we can make that commitment as a group of in-house lawyers, we can precip precipitate significant change in the, in the field of law. Uh, I've got a very demanding job, and I've got even more demanding young kids. So I don't have room in my life for routines or predictability. There are, though, three overarching rules that I try to live by. You know, one for my life, my family life, my professional life, and more important life in general. First and foremost, family comes first. As important as my career is, I take a lot of pride in spending more quality time with my kids than anyone else that I know. And also being a supportive husband to my wife, who is always exhausted after chasing after the kids. Professionally, as a lawyer, and specifically as an in-house lawyer, I encourage people to take the Hippocratic Oath, which is first, do no harm. And that means don't make the mistake that a lot of lawyers make, which is to get in the way of business. Your job is to promote business, not to hinder business. Once you start doing that, you're hurting the patient that you're purporting to help. The last thing I would say is, as I enter sort of the middle phase of my, my life and my career, like a lot of people in my age group, we think a lot about what legacy are we leaving behind. So I seek every opportunity that I can find to leave behind a legacy of good by participating in programs like this, like CUP, um, encouraging others to commit to diversity and to generally help other people and be good. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. I was the only Asian kid around, and I faced a lot of racial discrimination, from name calling to things that are more subtle. Um, what I would like to leave behind as a legacy is to do my part in trying to make change so that my son and my daughter, when they grow up, that they are viewed as Americans first, and not as Asian Americans, and true Americans, and not as foreigners. That is a perception that Asian Americans still grapple with, even after centuries. If my son and my daughter could grow up in a world where there is racial and gender parity, where they are seen as human beings and Americans, not qualified by race, race and gender, that would be the one thing that I would change.